Hi guys and welcome to Dave in Real Life Football. Yes, this is a new part of uh, the channel going forward. And in today's video is we're going to rank and grade all the Premier League football kits for this upcoming 2022-23 season. Yeah, so we're going to be doing more football content on the channel, hopefully doing like a little mini review next week of the upcoming Premier League season, what I think of the clubs and their transfer business uh, but going into the new season, all of that good stuff. And of course, doing watch-alongs for the Premier League season and various other fo football matches throughout the season as well. So yeah, this is first of many videos of football. Obviously, yeah, the predictions game is coming back uh, as soon as the Premier League comes back. So yeah, look forward to that as well. But without further ado, and we're going to get into the first club shirt, and it is Southampton. Uh, this has got a big, massive red stripe in the middle with black outline. Uh, yes, yeah, mainly white. Uh, I don't mind this. It's got a round neck. I'm not a fan of round necks, if I'm being all honest. So for me, it probably gets marked down for that. But yeah, it's quite an interesting design. Uh, it's, uh, it's Does it scream Southampton? I'm not 100% sure, but I'm sure uh, supporters of this football club will uh, probably buy this one. It's not one for me. It's not something I'd buy, uh, especially if even if I were a Southampton fan. I think there's been better Southampton shirts over the years. This doesn't really excite me, if I'm being all honest. So I am going to give it a C grade. Uh, yeah, I don't think it's, I don't think it's awful. I don't think it's great either. But a C, I think, is a, a respectable grade. We move on to Aston Villa. Uh, this one is claret, all in the middle with the blue sleeves. A uh, typical Villa shirt, not exciting at all. Kind of find this kind of boring. Uh, but it does the job, you know it's Aston Villa, so definitely a C marking for this one. Now we go on to Arsenal. And I didn't think I'd think, say this, but I actually like this shirt. I think it screams Arsenal all the way through. It's kind of retro in its style. Kind of reminds me of Arsenal kits in the past. Uh, quick description, it's red and white. With uh, It's red all over with white sleeves with a lovely collar. I love the collar on this. I am a collar guy, even though I'm wearing a t-shirt right now, but I prefer a collar. Uh, it's got white stripes on its shoulder. It screams Arsenal. And this is actually my favourite shirt of the lot, which is a surprise. So it gets a B plus. We move on to Chelsea. Uh, predominantly can't really do anything exciting with a Chelsea shirt, to be quite honest with you. And this one is pretty plain. It's just basically blue with uh, a round neck uh, nothing to scream about here uh, it does the job it tells you that it's Chelsea and that's it it's very plain it gets a D from me we go on to Bournemouth which we've gone from plain to this <laughs> I mean it, this is like lightning bolts going through the middle red and black the Bournemouth colours it's very explosive it, it to be quite honestly it hurts my eyes a little bit uh i love that they've gone crazy with it it does look exciting and but it's not something that i'd be buying unfortunately i'm going to give it a d maybe you like this kind of shirt and maybe this is something that you would go out and buy but uh it's not for me i'm afraid uh, we go on to tottenham this is te stereotypical tottenham shirt very white very plain Got a bit of uh, black and yellow on the trim. It just screams out Tottenham to me. It's not offensive. It's what you'd expect from a Tottenham home kit, to be quite honest with you. So that gets a steady C grading. <coughs> uh, sorry for coughing. Uh, now, we go to Man City. And I know you're going to think that I'm biased against Man City. I don't give a flying flip about Man City if I'm all tr truthfully honest. I think think they're a great team. Uh, spent the money wisely to uh, win the championships and whatnot. 
But this shirt, I think the red trim is goddamn awful. It doesn't suit, it doesn't need to be there. It doesn't scream Man City to me. The blue is perfectly fine. I don't know what it is about this sh uh, shirt that annoys me. And it just looks horrible. It It's just not great. Uh, I know Man City fans will probably love this shirt, but it doesn't scream retro, it doesn't scream uh, exciting. It just, it, it hurts my eyes. <laughs> I don't like it. I think it's awful. I think it's dreadful. It gets a stead. It gets a straightaway F. I think this is a poor attempt of a football kit. If I was a Man City fan, I would be like complaining at my club because I wouldn't want to pay seventy pound for that. It is flipping horrible. Uh, don't know if anybody feels the same as me. I know Man City fans will probably love this, which is fine, good. But remember, this is a non-biased review. And I just think this shirt is trash. Absolute trash. It's an F. We got on Man United and show you that it's not a biased uh, review. Because I actually like this shirt. Yes, it's red and black. With one of the white stripes on the shoulder. It screams Man United. There's nothing offensive about this shirt whatsoever. And it's got a lovely collar. It wins by the collar. Uh, I'd love the collar on this. It gets a C plus rating from me. Uh, I do, I do actually like it. It's like, I wouldn't buy it because it's Man United, but if I were a Man United fan, I'd be all over that, definitely. We go on to Liverpool. Yes, everybody knows I'm a Liverpool fan, and I suppose you'd expect me to be like all over this, giving it a high rating, but it's not. This is just a plain Liverpool shirt. There's nothing exciting about it. It does its job. It's a Liverpool shirt. You can tell, just the colour red, it's got a round collar, which I'm not a fan of. I won't be buying it, it's too boring for me, to be quite honest with you. It gets a C. So yeah, I've marked the Liverpool shirt down. I could, If I was a biased, I'd be going, oh, it's an A, it's an A. So I'll just think about that in the comment section below. Uh, we go on to Everton, blue and white. Well, it's blue with white under the arms. Uh, don't quite know why it's under the arms, but they've gone for that. It's typical Everton, it screams Everton. And I say that quite a lot with these shirts, it just screams the shirt. <laughs> but it is, it's a steady C, it's not offensive, you know it's Everton. And then as if you're an Everton fan, you, you will buy this, I'm sure. We go on to Forest, and that is a plain red shirt. I don't even know if this is the official shirt, if I'm being all honest. I found these all online. Uh, please put in the comment section if this is the shirt or not. But it's just a typical red shirt, to be quite honest with you. It gets a C rating. We go on to Newcastle. Typical black and white striped shirt. Nothing too fancy about this. It is Newcastle's traditional kit. Nothing too exciting. It gets a C rating. That's it. That's all I can say about it. West Ham, I absolutely love this shirt. It is not quite the same level as the Arsenal shirt because it's round neck, but I do like it. Very retro style shirt. It reminds me of West Ham shirts of the past, which is always great that a couple can go back to original designs or designs what of like their Premier League life before. And I kind of like this. It's kind of, you know, it's the claret and blue of West Ham colours, but with like a pattern on either shoulder coming down. I, I kind of like it. It's got it's got something about it which uh, it just means that the club uh, uh, are going forward but looking at the past as well. So yeah, I give this a B rating. Wolves, yellow and black trim. Typical wolf shirt, usually always well yellow or gold, whichever way you want to see it. Uh, it's a stereotypical wolf shirt, nothing too exciting, so it's got a C mark from me. Leicester, I don't get it. <laughs> They've had some good shirts in the past, but this this is not, not good. I have marked it down as a D. It is blue and with white stripes on the shoulder and the collar. I know I said I love collars, but this kind of collar is ugh, it's horrible, it's trash. It's like a 1970s collar. Uh, I'm not a fan of it. Uh, I don't think this would uh, enter my head. 
this button I've got a neck scratch there you go Austin 316 uh yeah it's got a D mark I don't like it this is not for me Crystal Palace I mean what can you say about this uh this blows away uh their home kits of the past uh it's like a scratched blue and red like zigzag thing going on on the shirt uh, it's too busy for me if i'm being honest i do i kind of like it but it's a bit busy uh it's not something that i'd want to wear so it does get a d rating for me uh let me know what you think uh, Leeds have just announced their own kit for the new season. I kind of like this. It's not offensive. It screams Leeds United to me. All oh, white with yellow trim. It looks pretty decent. I, I do like this shirt. And yeah, it gets a C. Now we go on to three football clubs. We're going to fly through these because they, yeah, I'm not, I don't really want to talk about the shirts in all fairness. Not because they're trash. It's because they're last season. And that is Fulham. Brentford and Brighton all get a C mark in they're all kits from last season I don't know if they've released anything since uh, since I did my homework <laughs> but I checked their websites and these are the only shirts that I could find I think it's great value for money that's why it gets a C I think any club book can keep a shirt for another season is top marks because people are going out spending 70 quid on a shirt right now for the new one at least these will be a bit cheaper when you're looking at 30, 40 quid because uh, they're last season kits. So if you're wanting a new, uh, the Fulham kit for this season, you're going to get it cheaper. So I kind of like that. It's good value for money and I, I wish more clubs would do that And instead of just like new kit after new kit after new kit every year. I think, I think they're ripping off the fans, if I'm being all honest. So it'd be nice to see a couple of clubs take ye to this and stop producing kit after kit so yeah they all get a c marking let me know in the comment section below uh what you think of the kits what is your rankings i uh, do you think i'm way off with my rankings which don't care <laughs> to be quite honest with you because it is my opinion and you're entitled to yours but if you think i've been completely biased against man city it's not Man City, I'm not talking about the football club, I'm talking about the god-awful shirt. It's nothing to do with the team, the club. I'll do a full club review uh, next uh, before the season starts and I'll tell you my full opinion of the new transfer signings for each and every club and stuff like that. So get ready for that, it might even be a live stream, I'm not 100% sure yet. But... That's all for the future. Let me know in the comment section below what you think of these football kits. And in all fairness, which one would you buy if it wasn't your club? If you didn't support which shirt would you go out and buy? I would literally go out and buy the Arsenal shirt. I know. I know it's a fake fan comment, but if I were going out buying football shirts as a, a, a hobby, that would be the one that I'd pick up. So, yeah, let me know which it would be yours. And, uh, yeah, we, if we're going to start the new season, the Premier League season, with the live Crystal Palace Arsenal watch along, which is on the 5th of August. So, get excited for that. And if England female team get to the European final next weekend, we're doing a live watch along for that. So, football is going to come thick and fast on this channel. So, get ready for that. Uh, thank you so much for watching. I've been Dave in Real Life Football. You've been awesome. And remember to always keep it real. Bye for now.